Welcome back, everyone. It has been quite a long time since I last created a more standard video. So, I had a little free time and thought why not for old time's sake. Without further ado, here are four myths and misconceptions about Rusins that should die. Number one, Rusins experienced the Holodomor. This notion that Rusins were negatively affected by the Holodomor is quite pervasive within the diaspora. I'm not sure why but perhaps it's due to having Podkarpatska Rus now being part of Ukraine. Rusins and our favorite neighbors Galicians were not affected personally by the Holodomor at all. This is because Subcarpathian Rusins were part of Czechoslovakia, and Lemko Rusins were within the Polish Republic when it was happening. It was actually a whole decade and a half later that the famous annexation occurred. Only the areas of the Ukrainian SSR after World War I were subjected to the famine this being primarily Podolia, Zaporozhia, with the former wildfields. Number two, Rusins have Cossack ancestry. Just no, no. At no part did Subcarpathian Rusins or Lemkos in their history ever take part in any Cossack raids or have any real connection to them. In geographic terms, Cossacks were actually incredibly far away past even the areas that we know today as Western Ukraine in Volonia and Galicia. With the majority of their members being made up of various ethnic groups from the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, the Tsardom of Russia, and elsewhere. Combined with this, even what I called Western Ukraine earlier really shared little in common with them either. Though of course many today would not like to hear that. Just to give you a little background on where the Zaporozhian host lived, these being the Zaporozhian Cossacks, which Ukraine claims lineage from, here is a fairly good map outlining it. As you can see, nowhere even close. The Carpathian Sitch was made up entirely of Rusins. A pretty obscure one, right? Had to mix it up a little bit. This statement is completely false. The majority of the men who were part of the Carpathian Sitch, except for a few of the leaders, were from Galicia. They would actually cross over the Carpathians at night, and at quiet times during the day to avoid Polish authorities. With them bringing ammunition, new recruits, su supplies, pretty much anything that could help their efforts. Like most problems in our recent history, this one again seems to have been a combination of Galicians and a pathetic lack of will to do anything for ourselves. And finally, number four. Rusins are Slavicized Romanians. This one seems pretty hilarious, insane, and interesting all at the same time. Though I could understand why someone would think this if they didn't have the knowledge to understand the entire region. When we talk about medieval history, things get a little murky, but there is pretty clear evidence that this is not the case. How we know this specifically is through not just oral history, but local town documents as well. Even as far back to the 1400s, towns in Lemkovina and Preshav Rus specifically talk about new Wallach Ruthenians, which immigrated in large numbers from further east to repopulate the regions where West Slavs and Germans could not do well in. The fact that even back then these people were labeled as Ruthenians goes to show that it was not just an instance of one whole group turning into another. By most historical interpretations, it was a case of a smaller group of Vlachs assimilating into an already present Ruthenian population. This is likely why the Ruthenian language remained dominant for those within Carpathian Rus. Thanks for watching. If you have any more far out myths or misconceptions you'd like me to cover, please comment down below. And see you in six months.